In this tutorial, I will show you how to connect a Git repository to your BuddyBoss app so that your code changes can be automatically merged into your release app and test app builds. Note that you can also preview code changes in your test app while doing development in near real time without having to create new builds. I will explain how this works in a separate tutorial. Once you are happy with your changes, that's when you would want to create a new build so that those changes can be shared with other members of your team and can be included in your release app when it gets submitted for publishing. Here we are in the WordPress admin at Buddy Boss App Configure General. And if I scroll down, we can see this development section. You will only see this development section if you have purchased a plan that includes custom development access and if you've connected your app already. We can see it is telling me that I first need to add a Git repo into my BuddyBoss account area to enable merging a Git branch into my release app and test app builds. So let's go do that. Over here, I've logged into my account at BuddyBoss.com. From there, I can click on My Account and then navigate into Subscriptions Apps. And then for the app that I want to add my Git repo into, I'll just click on Manage. Make sure in here that it's showing the same app ID that is connected to your website. We can click connect here and we can see that this app ID is the same one showing here. And then for this developer access area, this is where you would want to add your Git repo. Once added, it will show up in the development section in your plugin. And then if I come back here under provider, you can pick the provider for whichever site is hosting your Git repo. We're currently supporting repos that are hosted at GitHub and GitLab. First, I'll show you how to add a Git repo from GitHub, and then I'll also show you how to add a Git repo from GitLab. So here we are in my GitHub account, and I have this Git repo I just created, and I'll be using this repo for my custom development. So we wanna add this Git repo in here. First, make sure the provider is set to GitHub, and then we'll click on clone. And if I come back in here, you can see that we're telling you not to use the HTTPS in the URL. So the easiest way is to click on SSH and copy it this way. And then the next step is that we'll need to create an access token. The access token is going to grant us the permissions that we need to be able to merge the repo into the app builds. So to do that, I'll click on my profile icon up here, and then I'll click on settings, and then developer settings, personal access tokens, and then we'll click Generate New Token. All right, so for the note, I'll just say Buddy Boss App. And then you'll need to set the permissions here, the scopes. Just check this first one for a repo. And then click Generate Token. And so here's our token. And you see it says, make sure to copy your new personal access token now. You won't be able to see it again. So make a copy of this somewhere safe. And then we can copy this and back here, we will enter it as the access token. And I'll click update. And now it has been saved. So let's go back to our website and I'll refresh the page. And we can see the options have changed, which means the repo was correctly configured at buddyboss.com. Before I show you how these new development options work, let me first show you quickly how to add a GitLab repo as well. Here we are in my GitLab account, and we can see I've created a Git repo here. If I wanted to use this Git repo, I'd come here and switch this to GitLab. And then for the repository URL, I'd come here and click on clone. And this one clone with SSH, I would copy that and paste that in here. And then for the access token, you'll want to head to your profile and click on preferences, access tokens and we'll create a personal access token. So I can call it Body Boss app. And then for scopes or permissions, you'll click on read API and read repository. And then we'll click create personal access token. And it says your new personal access token, make sure you save it, you won't be able to access it again. So I'll copy that and I would paste that into here and click update. For the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to stick with our GitHub repo, and I'll show you how to configure these branches for deployment into your release app and test app. So you can see for the release app, select a Git branch to be automatically merged into your release app builds. And if I click here, I can see all the branches that exist for this repo. So I'll select master to be included with my release app builds. 
and then for test app, select the Git branch to be automatically merged into your test app builds. Now at the moment, I only have master. I would want a different branch for my test app. So let me create a new branch first. So here we're in my Git client and we can see our repo. I'm just going to create a new branch called dev. And now that I've published that branch, I can come back here and click on refresh data. And now when I come into these dropdowns, I have both branches available to me. So I'll set this to master and this to dev. And this time I'll click save changes. And of course you can set this up any way you'd like, whatever makes sense for your development workflow. And then if I click on Git settings, this just takes us back into here so that we can come over to here and easily manage the Git settings if we'd like to. Once you have this configured, you will need to create a new build before the changes can appear in your app. And then on an ongoing basis, every time you create a new build, the code changes that are in the selected branch will be automatically merged with the core BuddyBoss app code for that release app or test app build.